You know, it's startling when you look at these numbers. We are educating women in droves right now. They're graduating with top degrees. And yet, when you look at the top ranks of management, they're not being represented. What's going on? Or indeed in politics, or indeed in higher education, even where women are actually going into education, as you say, in bigger uh, numbers than men. Well, what's interesting is that in the last year, two books have come out which are raising issues about whether or not women are holding themselves back. We have the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, where there was a sort of patriarchal repression theory. Then last year we had Sheryl Sandberg's book, Lean In, where she encouraged women to actually seize the day and begin to sit at the table and begin to make themselves heard. Then this week we have The Confidence Code by Katy Kay and Claire Shipman, which is saying that women lack confidence and they need to begin to speak up, to be heard and to take their place at the table. And might that then transition to have her having a bigger role in management? I mean, women just need to be more vocal. They need to be pushier. They need to be stronger uh, in order to get to the top. Well, one of the clear things is that if you look down at the breakdown of any business, actually, uh, diversity at a board level and at a high management level has a direct impact on the bottom line. So it makes businesses more successful to have at least 30% diversity in top management. So that's the first message women and men need to know. And then women need to feel more confident speaking up for themselves. And there are also, what's fascinating about both Lean In and the Confidence Code is there are all sorts of studies and science which both books explain which show why women are more reticent to push themselves forward, to ask for more money. Men feel 100% confident when they go for a new job. Women, in fact, only feel 60% confident. If a boss is likely to say to a woman, I'm thinking about promoting you, she's most likely to say, oh, oh well, I'm not sure I'm ready. Whereas the guy's like, great, when do I start? How much Well, that sounds like a real table? society problem, though, that, that we need to be raising our daughters to be stronger uh, and to be asking for more and, frankly, to be expecting more. Well, I think that's true, but the point of both books is that women find it very hard to ask for more. They feel like people aren't going to like them, that it's going to somehow upset the ecosystem in the office. So it's more complicated for women. And I think what we're trying to do is make people aware of it. Sheryl Sandberg came on board as Cosmo's careers editor, and we've had tremendous uh, response to her advice about how to ask things in a way that always reflects on the bottom line, how to use the we word instead of I want more money, we could do this if I come on board at a mm. higher level. It's really interesting psycho stuff. Well, uh, she writes, and I, I'm quoting here from a recent uh, article in Cosmo Careers um, where she's writing for you. She says, ambitious, hard-charging women still hold a complex place in our culture. They violate unwritten rules about what's acceptable, social contact, conduct, and this is holding women back. I mean, do women just need to say, okay, I'm going to take the chains off. I am going to be as outspoken as I want to be um, because this is what's right for, for my career and for my organization. Well, one of the interesting things is there are very few images of powerful women in popular culture. So, um, you know, if you think of something like Modern Family, hugely successful, hilarious, very funny TV show, there isn't a, there's only one working woman in it, not very modern because most people actually do have, you know, in a couple, most people do work because how else do you pay the mortgage? Um, but the, the woman works for her father and is constantly failing at work. And there was one episode where she tried to get a job and the family fell apart. It's very hard to think of positive images out there in popular culture. And if you can't see it, you can't be it. And which is uh, actually one of the, the reasons that Lean In has gotten together with Getty Images to try and show more positive what, images of women out there. What about the power. challenge that women face, though, that, you know, at the end of the day, um, if you're a wife and you're a mother, uh, society and, and personally, one sort of puts those things first as opposed to a career, a job. Well, I don't think we should be in the position of saying you have to put anything first. I think men want to spend more time with their families too. Most men don't want to be in the office till midnight, or most men don't want to be in the office till 8 o'clock, never seeing but their children. But they don't children. feel as guilty about it. Well, I think they, but I think they often feel miserable about not spending more time with their family.